I thought the Polish Pack was the only one that has this. Oh, PC Smoker back again with another fun filled video. And uh, some do a little something different. Normally I do this in my bed, in my living room, but I just slipped out the word. I'm in my bedroom. I'm not going to show you around, but uh, it's early Oscar Madison, so it's a little messy here and there, but that's the way it is. That's my room. That's the way I like it. And I am smoking. Are smoking a cane six sixty inferno. Ooh. And I have to say this is the best cigar I ever had. There are a few, just a tad bit closer to this, but this is really good, really good. Nice and smooth. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it so much that um, I had another case of SAD. And some, for some of you new guys, and gals on the you know, scene, I turn it SAD as being the letters for Stogie Appreciation Disorder. Just like with PAD and TAD, pipe and tobacco. Uh, uh, hmm. Can't talk anymore. <laughs> so good, I can't talk anymore. Okay. Uh, Pipe slash tobacco appreciation disorder. So I call it Stogie Appreciation Disorder instead of a CAD because CAD means cardiac, cardio arterial disease. So I'll just say heart, heart disease right there. So that's the reason I call it SAD. Anyway, moving back. Um, the reason I do this video is because Adam, go, who goes by Natum35 down in Alabama, uh, a while back he had a video in which he showed off a humidor he got from somebody and it was cover of mold. And then Metalhead Cigar Guy. had a um, but sim similar fate with some of the scars I had um, completely re completely um, redo all his collections and his humidor so I think it was about time I show you mine I got this about two years ago almost three years ago and Let's take a look at the goodies I got. Okay, that's what my humidor looks like today. <laughs> and we open it up. Yes, yeah, so it has some nice, good, juicy sticks in here. So, let's start out with, um, like I said, here's the Inferno right here. Pick these up at um, that the, you all get them at um, Famous Smokes, FamousSmoke.com. They're the only exclusive seller of these, so check them out and find out prices. At the time of this take, at the time this was taken, um, they were on sale for about seventy-four dollars. 
Um, that was until that's until the um, twenty February twenty seventh. So most likely after that, probably getting near around hundred dollars. But if you want a five pack, it's twenty seven dollars. Cheap sandwich, cheap plug there, but that's <laughs> that's what it is. Anyway, I got these from Fan Smoke. They have a um, monster mash a mash monster sale on five packs and, and sometimes ten packs and they also have one in which you can price your own box of cigars so and also with some of these like this and what else and well here's my asylum right here yeah, sometimes they come shipping free, so that's a, that's that's a good bargain right there too. So anyway, like I said, oh, I'm sorry. Mm. This is not a cane. Excuse me. This is not a cane. Six sixty. This is a Oliva. Excuse me. Blooper on the. <laughs> Blooper on the um did here. Yeah, this is an Oliva 660 Inferno. That's yeah, Oliva. Nope. So please forgive me, it's Oliva. Okay, now back on to um and the other stuff I got from let's see. From Famous Smoke is this La Gloria Cubana Gilded Cage. I took a now had one about ten hours ago, and it smokes fine. It's a little bit a tad bit salt, but you know it's probably because of the, you know they probably were storing in the um, factory humidor, so. It's not, it's a little soft, but it's still a good smoke. Nice good draw as well. So I tried that, gave that a try. And then let's see. Alright, right here. This is a G A R uh Corojo Vinci twenty oh five. Nice little cedar wrap right there. And these, of course, are made by um, George Rico. And the one thing I like about this, well, I like about these cigars, is that if you can't think, if you want to buy one of his cigars, if you don't know the wrapper, you can always tell by the wrapper which the cigar came in. You can always tell by the box that the, the, they come in. And there's two of them right here. The red is Corojo, and the black is Maduro, and it comes and it comes with another color which is green, and that's for the Connecticut wrapper. So that's it. So that, so if you can't tell which is which, at least you go by the color and then you know what wrapper it'll be. And I got a good deal on this one because we're about because I bought this in a bundle and not in a box. And it cost me about forty eight dollars. So, you know, if you're trying to save some money and all that, you know, usually it's best to go buy with the bundle. And that's how that's how I try to go buy it's bundles. Just as much as that with um this is a big jar right here of Captain Black Royal. Got this, the pipe and cigars. I think about 12 cents an hour, I think, something like that. But you know, this is 36 ounces right here, and it's about, ooh, I'd say about $60. If you had these in cans, it costs about $40 more, so that's a good savings right there. Now let's, now let's get back to where we're going. Um, What else is also in here? And also, well, 
back to these. These came, I had one of these about a few days ago, and one, they're real good. The good news is they're real good. The bad, it's kind of a bad news is that it's a little bit soft, which means they're probably kept in the uh, humidor maybe about 75% and all that. Just guessing. But, you know, it's kind of, kind of mushy, sort of. Just much as like, I, a while, while back, I had a few scars in my pocket, and they were mushy as well. So, probably once I get this dried out, it should be back, it should be nice and firm again. And this one here, I got this over at uh, Cigar Bid. And this is a Comancho. Corojo 10th Anniversary uh, This came in a 10 pack Of course all these cigars here Most of them are 6x60 There's well, The next one I'll be talking about soon But anyway That's Comancho right there um, They're alright but I don't know I wouldn't sh take this as a Make this as a go to cigar so it's kind of nice to have, but you know, I really wouldn't order a whole lot of this, as I did with uh, this. So I so okay. Let's see what else. Oh, this one here I got from Cigar Bit as well. This is the um, let's see, yeah. The Ramon Bueso Genesis. Let's try that again. It's a Ramon Bueso Genesis cigar right here. There we go. The project. And this is a fine cigar. I always want to buy one of these, but, you know, didn't have the money for it. But, you know, I got this a scar bid. <laughs> and, um, it's all right. A little, it's a little tightly packed, but still a good smoke. And then, last but not least... Still have the last of my Casada Oktoberfest Uber. This is a six by sixty-five. Got this bid on this on Christmas Eve from Cigar Bid and got and won it. Of course, the other guy's probably pissed off, still pissed off at me for doing it. But um, yeah, had about well, five of them, and that's the last one there, and. You know, it's been there for about two months now, so it's aging fine. And like I said, all these are 6 by 60 Except for this one, this is about 6 and a half. Still a 60. So those are the cigars I have so far. Like I said, I'm getting another box of these Oliva 660 Inferno. 20 of them. And now I'm getting a 10 pack of Romeo e Giulietta House of Montague Cigar 6x60 six and they're great too nice and firm good smoke and all that so that should hopefully get me all the way up to the top here so okay now, what I have down here to keep them all nice and fresh are these little human care gel balls. This one I filled up with water, it's distilled water, a few days ago. And when they're all filled, nice and filled with water, they're that big. And of course, with time, they'll start to shrink. So you have to put in some more water about every month or two. I got, I got two of them because got two cigars here, yeah, so, sorry, I got this so, here's the other one, 
And there's a spare right here. It's a little older and you know they're only good for about two years to so be thrown out, but it still work a little bit longer. And then of course check it all out. This is what the um, uh, cigar guy said in his last video what he got. Got got this over at Walmart and it's good. To have because okay because you know you don't have to put, put get it for the salt test and that it works real fine you're not setting a salt bag for 24 hours it's just it's fine the way it is because I bought another one for my place and it really works because I had the old analog needle and all that and what happened simple the uh, that's how much of how much the uh, needle read on the old analog humidity read and all that, and now it's now it says sixteen percent. So or let well it goes down to sixteen percent, but it's probably a lot less than that. So it's awfully dry in this place. So that's the reason why it's so down. And of course, uh, the numbers here, the high and lows for the temperature and the humidity. That changes every 24 hours, so you know how high the humidity's been and how low it's been during that 24 hour period. It's going up now because it's close to my hand. So I put that down here too. And that's it. That's my humidor right there. Hopefully, you enjoyed that little view I have in my humidor. and. Apologies for some of you who are craving to buy some more cigars. Sorry about that. But hey, you know, I mean, this was this is one this is being done one week for Lent starts. So hey, you got something to give up with for Lent. So well, buying cigars, but don't don't stop smoking. Just keep on buying. Just don't buy until Easter. Until then, um. Keep those home briars burning and cigars smoking. See you next time.